Hello everybody and welcome to the finale of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This episode is uh, a bit later than I, what I wanted to put it as because of the unexpected thing that we, uh, well, I forgot about the Big Poe collecting. So the last episode was spent doing just that. But now that that's all done, we will go ahead and ascend the tower and make our way to Ganondorf himself. God, Dino Falls are so weird. There we go. I love the design of the doors. So cool. Hopefully we'll stock up on some more arrows before we get up there. Ah, the boss key. Sure, they can get into the fire, but I can't. Come on. Are you done giggling at me yet? Take that. Let's grab this and then we can continue our ascent up the tower. A lot of winding stairs, but then again, this is a tower, so... <laughs> we have two Iron Knuckles to fight. I wonder who Ganondorf hired to be these Iron Knuckles. Because if Naburu was any indicator, it looks like they put Gerudo in these suits of armor. To actually, like, do this Iron Knuckling. There we go. Honestly, it would have been better to have the boss key locked behind those two. Iron Knuckles are infinitely more intimidating than Stalfos at this point. Here's the boss door. Can't go back now. I can use some magic, please. Thank you. That'll do for now. Alright. Let's ascend. Oh. I just... The fade effect is so good. I love it so much. This must be his quarters. Such a beautiful tower peak. There's Zelda. There's Ganondorf. Oh boy.
The Triforce parts are resonating. They are combining into one again. The two Triforce parts that I could not capture on that day seven years ago. I didn't expect they would be hidden within you two. <laughs> and now, finally, all the Triforce parts have gathered here. These toys are too much for you. I command you to return them to me. Don't fret, Navi. Great King of Evil, Ganondorf. Okay. Dead Man's Volley. Anybody? We're playing Phantom Ganon again. This is actually much more uh, difficult that I can't target with him. There we go. Come on. We're doing good. We're doing very good. Got him! Ganondorf has been defeated. The great king of evil, Ganondorf, beaten by this kid? Oh, I did not need to see that. Link. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, boy. Oh, he destroyed the room. And by the looks of it, the rest of the tower. Is he dead? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I didn't think we beat him that bad, but I guess so. He is, like, face down on the bed of his tower. Uh, the entire tower is shaking. Oh, 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 with his last, so he is dead. I just got a full HP refill. Oh, we got three minutes to get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> oh, boy. Move it, princess. Come on, over here. And falling rubble everywhere. Come on. All right, come on. Don't stop and wait for me. And don't block me from jumping next time, either. Let's go. I love how Link is ready to go right now. Huh? 
Oh, great. Um, I will show you something real... Ow. I will show you something real quick that we can do now that we have these. That does a lot of damage to them. Like, it freezes them solid, and then you cannot... Well, it takes about three hits instead of, like, six. Okay, let's put the light arrows back on, shall we? Okay, we're almost out of here by the look of it. Don't stop for me. Let's go. Okay, we are almost done. Let's not worry about the redead, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. Let's go. Oh my god. Such destruction. Ganondorf had a freaking contingency plan, man. I wonder what else they could have done with this tower collapse, because it looks like it's just sinking into the ground. Okay. Wow. It looks like a friggin' quicksand pit or something. Don't fret, Navi. Uh huh. Oh boy. What was that sound indeed? Uh... Oh god, he is alive. What are you doing now? This is Ganon. Um, okay. So I think this is the one chance I'll get to use the big Goron sword. Okay, that's funny. The hookshot can actually hurt him. I really love the light arrows in this fight. Ah, let's go. Oh, 
Ooh. He's huge. He's really kind of slow, though, isn't he? Oh, knocked him down. Back to the good sword. Let's go. Broke my guard. I usually don't have this much trouble dealing with this guy, but... And once again, through my guard. Really just got to keep wailing on his tail. Through the legs with you. Oh my god, he's ugly. <laughs> Right in the skull, oh my god. Not only did Ganon get mollywhopped, but he got stabbed in the forehead and destroyed twice. Oh my god, that's gotta suck. Ancient creators of Hyrule. Open the sealed door and send the evil incarnation of darkness into the void of the evil realm. All the sages. I was sorry at last, though. I have to say, that was one of the longest fights with Ganon I've ever had playing through this game. It usually does not take me that long. But, uh, I'm kind of glad it's over. You. Curse you, Zelda. Curse you, sages. Curse you, Link.
Someday, when the seal is broken, that is when I will exterminate your descendants. As long as the Triforce of Power is in my hand. He is... Wow. We actually done? Oh, this scene is so cool. Standing on the sky! I love it. For, for a time. <laughs> oh, great. Trying to control it. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if Link is going to keep all the gear with him and he's just going to, like, have it when he turns into an adult later down the line. Peace has returned to Hyrule. Hmm. You know, if the URA Zelda was actually a thing, it was basically Ocarina of Time. It was what Ocarina of Time was going to be before it became this game. I'm wondering just how big and how much more it would have been if it actually stayed that way. Because there was so much that Nintendo wanted to do when they were building this game. And if I have my math correct, I believe it took them... Oh, shoot, when was Link's Awakening released? I think they took like four to five years... Between the fourth Zelda game, which is Link's Awakening, and making Ocarina of Time. But, to be fair, it was the first time they were working with 3D technology for a Zelda game. So, obviously they were ambitious, yes, but... I wish, 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 wish that they would have managed to get the big plans together. And now there's bunch of beta leaks and stuff that have happened and wow I am I'm dumbfounded at how different this game was going to be so I have yet to decide if I'm going to directly follow up like the next day with Master Quest on this I'm thinking I don't want to do that because I did that with The Legend of Zelda and uh, the second quest I think I'm going to wait a week's worth of time and do it as if it were a new playthrough, which I usually have a break of a week in between the old one and the new one. So I'm thinking, yes, I'll start recording the Master Quest stuff, but it'll be uploaded starting a week. And that's Sunday to Sunday week. So my... Break time will be the day after, well, the day after this is up until the following Saturday. That'll be my off time, and then the Sunday following that Saturday will be when the Master Quest episodes start going up. And then after the Master Quest concludes, we will be proceeding into The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, as far as my plans go. Then after Majora's Mask will be Oracle of Seasons and Ages, and I'm currently preparing how I want to do that. But just uh, just take solace in knowing that I am actually working ahead as far as my plans go. And as these credits play, we can view some of the maps in the game. I have to say, from the uh, Nintendo 64 improvement to this version of the game, that, that doesn't sound right. From the, from the Nintendo 64 version to the improved version that is this game, Ocarina of Time 3D, 
Um, leaps and bounds were made. Like, I have to say, it feels really empty still in the field, but that's because it was built on a Nintendo 64. And Nintendo at the time didn't really account for how, um, how much space they need to save, so to speak. And, um, I think that really hurt the game, because Hyrule Field is just empty. And I know it was, like, from the time, compared to what we have now in Breath of the Wild, like, there is very few square feet of emptiness in Breath of the Wild. But, um... As an old classic, Ocarina of Time definitely takes the cake as far as uh, good stuff and gameplay goes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, they're all singing. That's hilarious. Why are there eight? Everybody's dancing. <laughs> Even the fisherman guy. Oh, I forgot to mention. If there's a bonus episode of this game, I don't know what it's going to be like planned on <laughs> the Gerudos are kick dancing that's cool with um a bonus episode it'll it, the little only thing that's a bonus is finding something called the sinking lure in the fishing pond and catching the Hylian loach with it so if I ever if I Go and make a bonus video. That'll be what the bonus video is. It shouldn't take too long to find it. But, um, you know, there's also a race that I mentioned that you can do on horseback. It's two laps around the ranch. I'm not sure if I did it in a previous episode or not, but if you beat the record time, which I think is... I want to say it's 50 seconds. If you beat that, then you get a cow as a as a keepsake for your house in, um, well, your your lawn, your property in uh, Kokiri Forest. So that's what a bonus episode would consist of. Again, my apologies for not paying attention and missing that I didn't do the uh, the pose, the big po collecting in. And up until the last episode, but I'm glad I got it out of the way. And uh, sorry about making it, it its own thing, but this was going to be it, its own thing itself. Just dealing with Ganondorf and all that. This is a very oh, tired, very long cutscene. Then again, there were so many people working on Ocarina of Time for what I saw. And like all these cinematics, they work very well for the game. But once again, the Master Sword shall lay at rest. I'm looking at it the way I'm looking at it, and it's not centered in that pedestal. Like, the pedestal is not centered, or the camera is not. It's just, it's so weird. Hey, the castle. I wonder if the guards actually let us through this time. <laughs> ah, little Princess Zelda once again. I wonder what prompted him prompted him to visit her again. <laughs> it feels so nice to have played through this game again, regardless or not. Regardless or not, if it was Master Quest or a regular quest, but yes. 
And now we have extra credits to go through. What else can I speak about? As far as little spin-off things go, um, there's Four Swords Anniversary Edition. I don't think I'm going to play through that because in order to get everything done in that game, you have to link up with three other players. I'm 90% sure on that. But yeah, to get everything done in that game, you have to get a certain amount of rupees per level and you have to get special keys to get to these other special levels. Um, Hyrule Warriors and Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is going to be a really, really weird thing. I do not think I'm going to do Link's Crossbow Training, but that'll that might change in the future. Because crossbow training, there's no real specific thing you have to follow, and there's no, like, locking you out of anything if you don't do something the way it's intended to do. Crossbow training is all about shooting certain things and getting a different role on uh, the way your points get accumulated. And then, back on Hyrule Warriors, the Definitive Edition has over a thousand hours of content, and I barely scratched the surface of that when I played through. And, uh, ugh. like, lordy, lordy, a thousand hours, and I've literally played through maybe the main story and then a couple extra side missions. It's a ridiculously long game. Age of Calamity, on the other hand, that's going to be about 120 hours of playtime, depending on which difficulty I pick. But, uh, yeah, with all the DLC in that game... Easily 120 to 140 hours in. So, uh, yeah. The Hyrule Warriors games are going to be a long, long time from now, but they're going to be a very big, big undertaking. Nintendo and Grezzo. Good to hear. The End. The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. And with that said, unlocking the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D Master Quest. I can now play the Master Quest. So I had to clear a file for the whole thing to recognize that. And now we can select here. So with that said, please do leave a like for the finale of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Please do drop a comment if you have something you want to direct my attention to. And uh, please consider subscribing if you want to stay up to date with all the work that I've been doing and whatever I do in the future. With that said, please join me again when I get around to uploading the Master Quest. And remember, it will be dungeons only. And whatever Skulltulas I don't get on screen will be got off screen because they're irrelevant as far as collection after 50. Once again, thank you for watching and... Bye-bye.